I am here at the Palm Beach Card Show. It's a packed house, and I'm ready to check out the show floor. Come along for the ride. Let's get it. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big C Seven Cards, and I am here with Kyle at the West Palm Beach Card Show. This was a fantastic show. This was day one, Friday. Very packed for a Friday show and very packed for a new show as well. So I want to know, for one, you're a baseball player. Tell us about that. I grew up playing baseball. 2013, I got drafted by the LA Angels. I want to say Nationals, but I got traded to the Nationals from the Angels. Uh, 2018, I debuted for the Nationals. Awesome. And you got a World Series ring to show for it, right? I did get a World Series ring. You have uh, it with you? I do not have it with me, but it will be here tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I'll be I'll here tomorrow, so I'll, I'll take him up on that. I'll we'll show him tomorrow, that. but uh, yeah, got that ring. Awesome. You have a card shop too, right? Yes. Tell me about that. West Palm Beach, uh, World Champion Sports Cards. Uh, we just opened up a little over a year ago, 14 months, I think. Uh, this is us right here. Yep. World Champion underscore sports cards on Instagram. Uh, yeah, we just opened up a little over a year ago. Kind of new. Um, pretty excited. Awesome. I'm taking that off so it doesn't make a lot of noise. But anyways, yeah, so that, that's awesome. So you got a you got an MLB career, you got a card shop, you got a, a card show now. What's next? I don't know. I'm pretty much enjoying the kid hobbies, right? <laughs> uh, I've, I'm a grown kid. Um, we'll see what's next. You never know. Uh, hopefully the show continues to grow. World champion, you know, we spread our name across the country. We'd like for this show to continue to grow and try to get more people to South Florida. You know, I wish you all the best, man. It's awesome to have somebody in the hobby that is also in the, you know, the sports space that you, you understand both worlds and you're bringing it into the hobby. Yeah. Love it, absolutely love it. And looking forward to Palm Beach shows in the future and uh, your success in the future of the card shop, man. Thank you, Thank I you so much. It. Thank you, thanks appreciate for having me. What's up everybody, it's your boy Big C7 Cards. I'm here at the Palm Beach Card Show with none other than Tristan McKenzie. Three, two. Got him looking at a fastball down low and the inning is over. And it's pretty crazy because I actually just recently picked up a Tristan McKenzie rookie card. You think you could sign this for me? Of course. Dude. That'd be awesome, bro. Gotcha. So I, you, are you into cards? This is a big thing for you? I, I dabble, I know a little something, something. I wouldn't say I'm like super into it where I know any and everything but I got some good people around me that, that keep me that keep me informed. Gotcha. I, and I, I like to collect some of my stuff, especially because my mom likes to see some of the cards and some of the different cards. So I know a little bit about like some of the living set stuff, refractors, I know, but I wouldn't say I'm like a card head yet. Man, thank you so much. This is awesome. Kristen McKenzie, future star right here. So it. so tell me, man, what's next for you? Like, what do you, what do you envision yourself in the future? What are your plans for the next couple years? Uh, I mean, I tell you, my biggest one is to is to stay healthy. Uh, I think a majority of like me trying to get to the big leagues, me getting to the big leagues, uh, just trying to prove myself and prove that I can go, kind of go out there and compete. A majority of it has to do with being able to be out on the field consistently. Right. Uh, and I feel like I've failed at that in the past when I was in the minors. And I feel like just getting to the point I am now is more just me being able to go out there and show that I can perform day in and day out. Right. Well, I mean, it's it's so hard to say that you failed in that way because of injuries. It's like it's not your fault, but you know, a lot of a lot of players think that way. You know, I would I would I noticed in an interview. I would encourage you, man, to stay strong. You know, you're 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 a fantastic player. Keep it going, and uh, it's awesome to have you here at the show. There are going to be a lot more shows in Florida. Uh, do you see yourself signing in other locations or doing some more of these types of events anytime soon? Maybe. I mean, I'd say I I like to stick to stick to the grind as much as I can. Right. And more I'm trying to make for me the signings as organic as possible. I try to sign for as many kids as possible when they come to the game. Uh, I try to stay as late as possible because I know there's actual fans that collect cards. I try to sign for people before. Uh, I'll try and get to more shows, but it's not something that I do pretty pretty often. This is actually my first one. Awesome. Well, that, hey, it's a great start. It's a, it's a big show. I think it's the biggest show that we've had in Florida for, I want to say, a, a couple years now. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's been a while. So this is awesome to have you here. Thank you. I got to ask, who's your favorite player? 
Shohei. Shohei is probably Shohei is probably my favorite, just all around player, just because of what he does on both sides of the baseball. Tristan McKenzie will get there one day. This dude, this dude. Watch out for Tristan McKenzie. Where can they find you on socials and all that? So my Instagram is my name T R I S T O N dot McKenzie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my Instagram is T underscore Easy E A Z Y two four. Tristan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you for having Welcome me. Welcome to the Palm Beach Car Show. Awesome to have you here, bro. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you. See you guys. Wow, what an awesome experience meeting Tristan McKenzie. What an awesome dude. I'm gonna be keeping in touch with him as he's on the Cleveland Guardians. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for autographing my card. Now I'm gonna go see on the show floor, finally get a chance to look around. Let's see what I can find. Let's go. How's it going, man? Got that FAU shirt. Yes, sir. FAU 76. All right, Al, what's up, baby? What's your name? <laughs> Alan. Alan, nice to meet you, nice Alan. To meet you too. <laughs> Seems like you aired on the side of Eli Manning. Yeah, just a few Eli's. Can we come in here and see, see all the Eli Mannings here? What, so how long did it take to, yeah, to so compile all of these Eli Mannings? Oh, really? I've seen that happen before. Really? Wow, I've seen that happen before, but with Percy Harvin. It was such a sight to see so many Percy Harvin cars. No, but he wasn't an Eli Super player. He was a giant Super player. Interesting. So it went all the way from 1948 to 2014. Oh wow, that's yeah. crazy! So he had like over two hundred, about one hundred and fifty thousand cards. It was, yeah, a, no, it was a good really, team to collect like, over that time. Yeah, it was so. like rainbow runs of everything, anything Giants you could imagine. That's what he bought. I mean, it was just that ridiculous. What's your name? Damien. Damien, nice, nice to meet you, Damien. I like to deal a lot in the autos and stuff like that. Rare, rare stuff that you can't find because then everybody's like, wow, they Google Gaga all over. And like, whoa, I haven't seen. This well, yeah, I've never. Yet. I mean, you rarely see an Eli Manning yeah. auto out, you know, yep, on a show absolutely. floor, let alone this. Yeah, you know, it's like I think 170 just in the two showcases, right? or actually three showcases. There's some over here. Eli have one one rookie over here. Yeah, wow. So, I mean, it's just like nuts. But I like the a lot of flawless national treasures, all that rare stuff. Yeah, I think there's a one one printing plate. Yeah, there's some one one printing plates too. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. It's I mean, if you got the space on your table, right? It's definitely an eye catcher. Right. You bring everybody to the table. Yeah, That's exactly. awesome. Yeah, when I was out there at FAU, there were four buildings. I was an engineering student, so I was I was way out at the probably at that time. You guys still had Engineering West. Well, maybe shortly after. You said only four buildings, so maybe not yeah. at that time. I but. Was uh, five and 76. Yeah, that's just a little bit before I was born, yeah. but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, I mean, just barely missed it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I was there from 2015 to 2020. Uh, okay. Awesome yep. meeting uh, uh, alumni <laughs> owls. Yeah. Uh, there's a there's a kid over there also has an FAU hat. Uh -huh. uh, he's a vendor at a table. Uh -huh. He's going to be starting FAU next uh -huh. year. So we got we got the the old school and new school in right. the future. We're, we're fighting ground owls. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There we go. <laughs> I was up, baby. I love it. Love it. What's up, everybody? I am here at the Palm Beach Card Show with Amano from Broward Breakers. Yes, sir. Pete's not here today, right? You got the better half. Okay, we'll leave that for him to hear afterwards. But uh, nah, the Palm this, Beach Card Show, man. Nice little surprise for Pete. Yeah, know. he'll 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 you watch know. this later. Now, nah, but shout out Pete. <laughs> Definitely the better half because he's keeping the operation alive while I get to enjoy the show. He's doing the hard work over here, exactly. but these guys are grinding all the time. You guys were on loop, what, Bro, yesterday? Oh my God, I'm, look, I'm still wiping the sleep out my eyes right now. <laughs> I literally got here like 10, 11 a.m., got back to the office like at 10 p.m., was live till almost like midnight, almost 1 a.m., and I'm here again. 10, 11 a.m., running it right back. That's the grind, bro. Yeah, That's man. how you get the bags under your eyes. The so. hobby hustle. There you go. That's the I hustle. Think, I think you know a little bit more about it than I do at this point, man. I'm telling I, you. I probably know about the same amount at this point. Oh, this you guy's know, hustling, I, man. You guys, <laughs> you guys don't know. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the background, but you guys know I, I stay I stay modest, you know. But uh, it's such an awesome show here, a Palm Beach card show. Shout out World Champion Sports Cards for, for all that they did to put this together and to partner with other shows, local shows, yeah. to keep the collaboration going. Tell me about that, man. It's awesome. I mean, definitely shout out to Kyle and World Champion. You know, they reached out to us as Hobby Slam and mentioned that they wanted to combine efforts to make sure that this could be the best show possible. And that's what we're all about. You know, the hobby at the end of the day is community. Yeah. We need to connect. C7, Broward Breakers, we've been connecting now almost, you know, going on to our second year of connecting. 
So, you know, that's what it's all about, and it's a great turnout. I've been enjoying the show, so shout out Kyle and World Champion. Yeah, did a great job. This is day two. Day three will be tomorrow, and uh, I, I think there's a bright future here. Like, you don't see it. You're going to see it in some other parts of the video, but I'm looking around. This place is packed. This place is packed. Love to see it. Love to see the hobby community coming together in South Florida. A lot of good things coming as far as shows. Hobby Slam. Hobby Tell me Slam. about it, man. What's coming up next for that? Hobby Slam 2 is definitely on the way. I promise. I probably get like a few DMs every month now about what is going on, when is it happening. A couple I, of those are from me. <laughs> <laughs> One third is about you know, yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah. But he, deservingly so, but I could promise you guys this. It is absolutely on the way. Just working out some logistics. But we're aiming for the end, end of April, um, you know, in Broward County. So we're moving it back up a little bit up north so we could be a bit inclusive toward Palm Beach and beyond. Uh, but we just want to connect the South Florida hobby together. We have a great state, a lot of great teams, a lot of great brands. You know, Kyle's putting on a good example here by connecting brands. We did it last year as well with the first Hobby Slam. Let's just make it even bigger and better than the second. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. Hobby Slam part two. You guys know I'm going to be along for the ride. And Amano here and Pete running the ship. Dude, this place, it's going to be rocking. Yeah, man, we definitely got to get the, the road to Hobby Slam back up and going. You think so? Absolutely. You think so? Get back in the car? <laughs> Let's do it, bro. I appreciate Absolutely. you as always. My brother. Enjoy the show. And Shout guys, out Big C7. <laughs> this is the guy. You don't know what he does, but he does a lot, man. He's good for the hobby, so shout out Big C7. Appreciate you, man. Palm Beach Car Show, we out here to vibe. Charlie, how's it going, hey, how's man? how's it going? Good to see you again. Good to see you again. So I was here yesterday. I saw that Babe Ruth. Yes. I, I was really interested in it. It was an SGC4. It was right here. Yeah. I'm starting to get afraid. Did yeah, you sell I it? Do, no, I did not sell it. Um, it is here somewhere. All right, we got to find it. I, I saw the SGC3 over here. I might have put it away, actually. Okay. Because I had the four out. Let's see. All right, well, hopefully Let's we can find, find this. Find that was a really cool Babe Ruth. Come on over here. Let me show you what it's supposed to look like. Some pretty cool 1935 Whitman Babe Ruth. Just a very cool picture of that guy right there. Oh, did you find it? Yeah, here it is. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, I, that, that's awesome. 1935 SGC4, Babe Ruth. I love this car. So you've got a sticker of 500 on it. Is that, is that your asking price? Where are you at? Yeah, I mean, I could do a little better on that. Um, maybe like four. Four? four? Okay, so I, I know that uh, there were a couple sales that were kind of all over the place. You know, comps are everywhere. Yeah. I was around 250. I might be too low on it. Where do you think you'd come down to? Can you work with me here? Yeah. Um, so you're at what? 350? 250? You said? Okay. Yeah. How about like 3, 325? 325. You know, this is a really nice card. It just, it just presents so well. Um, can you meet me around halfway, say like 285? 285. Yeah, I could do that. You can do that? Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Let's make the nice. deal. Yeah. I love that. 1935 Whitman, Babe Ruth. That is beautiful. That's going straight into the PC yeah. right there. I always wonder if Babe Ruth would look at this car and be like, I don't look like that at all. <laughs> I don't know. We, we, may, we may never know. Absolutely beautiful. Let me get you paid, man. Yeah. Good deal. Awesome card, awesome addition to my collection. I'm not a, a crazy baseball guy, but I, I do respect greatness when I see it. Babe Ruth, gotta love it. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Absolutely. And where can they find, where can people find you on Insta and? Charlie'sRandomStuff.com. And you're, you also work with uh, Boca's Card Subs, right? Yep, Boca Raton, SGC, grading card submissions. Best yep. in the biz, right? You were just, just yep. voted best that's in the right. biz 10, by Luca Tiger LeBron Podcast. Page. Yep. Oh, that's, yeah. that's huge. Yeah. So I'm happy for you guys. All the best and hope to see you at some other shows real Absolutely. soon. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome, Thanks man. Again. Appreciate We're it. Doing. Appreciate nice the deal. Time. Enjoy. Thank you. What's up, everybody? I am still here at the Palm Beach Card Show. Day's almost over, but I definitely got to say hi to a fellow future FAU owl. Sir, what is your name? I'm Corey, uh, Authentic Sports. There you go. Authentic Sports on Instagram. Make sure to go give it a follow. I already have. Corey is, how long is it going to be until you're an FAU owl? The summertime, so a few months. I mean, looking forward to it for sure. Um, counting down the days. How, how, how old are you? I'm 17. You're 17? I'm 17. You don't look 17, man. I know. You don't. It, I don't you, know if that's a good thing or a bad it's thing. A, it's a good thing. People still think I'm 21. I'm 27. 21? Did they think I'm 21. I'm 27. You're 27. I'm 27, yeah. You're 27. Well, when I was 21, they thought I yeah, was like yeah. 10. 
I think I when I was 21, I was still I getting kid men. I was still getting kids menus. Are you in business for FAU? No, I'm not. But I love it so much. I just rep them everywhere I go. Okay. I should be FAU. Reach out, man. I, hey, you are the future of FAU. I am yeah. sort of sort of current, just you know finished up. And then there was a gentleman over there who uh, was in the 70s. He graduated from FAU. Wow. He remembers when there were only four buildings there, and now the place is is crazy. So our, our friend was the first female pr professor at FAU. I think. Really? So that's awesome. What are you going there for? Business. Business? Okay. Yep. They got a really good business degree yeah. over there. Authentic sports. When did all this begin for you? Um, I've been seriously like high in collecting since uh, 2016. Um, and then obviously when COVID hit the market boomed and, and I was able to cash out and, and really start getting a high end collection like mm -hmm. this. Um, just making smart investments. You got to start with lower stuff, go through those value boxes at card shows and then you build your way up to a high end collection. Exactly. Um, selling on Instagram, Facebook, whatnot. Basically. Discord servers. Yeah, dis Discord servers too. Discord as well. Are you There's in the sports few. card investor Discord server? I am, I am in that. Okay, it, awesome. I, I've been in that for a few years, I think. But obviously at the card show, this, this has been amazing though. A lot of foot traffic in the show, for sure. And it's just fast business. I mean, right now we just made a deal, so people are really, Come in, telling you what you're looking for, and it's fast deals. So we're starting to get back into the buyer's market again. You know, yeah. people starting to buy cards more. People are like, the the hobby is down now. But I mean, it's a jam packed show. There's the Dallas show going on, the Palm yeah. Beach show. I mean, it's not like this is. There's a lot of shows going on. The hobby's not down. The market might be a little bit, but this is. You gotta remember, this is the market. COVID was different. So stuff is getting back to normal and it is, and, and that's the best part about it. You can now afford buying these high-end cards and buying these, these holy grails for your collections. So this is the time to buy, this is the time to get out there, go to card shows. There's 10-year-olds here with high-end briefcases and you have 70, 80-year-olds with high-end briefcases too. The hobby's for everybody. Shout out to the, the guys running the show too. Absolutely fantastic people on the show. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, shout out to Kyle McGowan yeah. and World Champion Sports Cards. This show is going places. I, I'm hoping the next time they're gonna be able to break down that wall behind us, yep, open up another sure. 400 tables, because yep. I feel like this place can can rock an 800 plus table show. I won't be here tomorrow, but I've enjoyed the last two, two days. Corey, I'm miss you, yeah, sure. thank you so much for talking with me, man. I Good luck at FAU, thank you. Owls up, baby. And go Owls. Yeah, go Owls, give it to them. Give it to them, you gotta know what's up. There you go. Go, go Owls. owls. <laughs> See you guys thank really you. soon.